I'm quoting her. I know products. And she's like, this is a business for you. And I said, well, you know, no, nah, maybe I'll just give it away. Cause I wasn't thinking about a business then. Cause Trey was still, I mean, it's my God, he'll, he'll be 30 this year. My son wow. is mind blowing. Um, 2022, but 2006, I can't do the math that fast. What is that? Uh, 14, 16 years ago. Yes. 15 years ago, 16 yes. years ago. So I wasn't thinking about no job, honey. I was child support checks was coming in. I was good. Mama was good. Okay. And you know, I felt like my main responsibility was to take care of him, you know, and it was, and I'm grateful that I was able to do that. But anyway, um, eventually started the business. And um, it went well. I was overwhelmed by it because I didn't consider myself a good businesswoman. You know, I'm creative all day long, but the business aspect of it wasn't so enjoyable. So I kind of, this is now fast forwarding. This is 2015. And if I'm talking too fast, you can slow me down. No, I find this all, you know, I mean, I think we have Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> to thank for this whoop ash body butter. Listen, I'm telling you. And um, so anyway, I, I took her advice and um, I did. I put it on the market and people loved it. And uh, but the hard part for me had a great product, but it was like I said, the business kind of went against the grain and it wasn't so enjoyable. So in 2015, I kind of let it fall by the wayside, but I kept up all the intellectual properties you know, maintain the trademarks, all of that, the website domain, kept that current. And um, 2000, 2020, pandemic hits, everything shuts down. And then you start to reevaluate, you know, your life and you can really sit and think because you can't do anything at, what are you going to do? You can't go out, you can't do, you can't do anything. So, yeah. all right, let me take this as an opportunity to recalibrate, to, you know, dig in and to really maybe get to the root of some of my stuff, you know, and it just, I, I lost faith in myself as a businesswoman. And I'm a very spiritual woman. You know, I start every day with meditation and prayer and I end every day that way. And I seek throughout the day as well. Cause I mean, you know, life, life can be challenging, but I just felt like God was just saying to me, if you really if you really had faith in me, if you really, you know, you say you love me, you say, you know, I'm omnipotent and I can, you know, I, I, I say that as Sheree, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if you really believe that, why are you looking at your limitations? Yeah. Why aren't you connected to my power and my ability versus you stopping and feeling fear? Because it's fear. I was just, I got, I was fearful. I was completely fearful. And I can't say that that fear is completely gone. I, I battle with that, you know, but I couldn't let that stop me. So in 2020, I relaunched the business. Two years later, here we are. And I'm whooping ash, hunty, and I am taking names. Ba boom. <laughs> I love I show, it. I have to send you some of this. Can I show you? You this? do. Yeah, no, it's, it's great packaging. David. Okay. For, yeah. It's like, and you know, a, a lot of businesses really prospered during COVID. It really yeah. was like a time to like either wake it up and drink wine all day or that. really just focus <laughs> and no, and do something else. Cause I mean, my, this podcast was the thing before, but COVID really kind of changed the trajectory it. of it. It's the same thing. I love it. Resurrection. It was like yeah. a resurrection and a, and a rebirth, so to speak. So it's extraordinarily dense. Wow. Right? It's extraordinarily concentrated. And I don't know if you can, but it's like, it's so creamy. Wow. And like, it just, it goes on, it's butter. Can you see? It yeah. Like it goes right into the skin. It's great it's packaging too, it is. Oh, thank you. Because you know what it was for me, the, the idea behind the packaging was I hope I don't tell my age, which don't really matter because I don't really care. But you remember Batman? Uh, yeah. In the series and how when he would be in a fighting scene, it would be like, bam, pow, boof. And I saw that. And I saw it was like a superhero kind of image. Whoop ash. And I said, you know, like, this is, this is a good, it's like, as a mother, you're a hero. You bring this home to the family. You take care of your babies. You take care of your man. Everybody can use it. It's a family product. And kids, you have to hide it from kids because they go crazy for it. 
They love the texture. They, of course, they love to say it because, you know, they think they're getting away with something. <laughs> well, that is what it reminds me of. It does remind me of the Batman, like, pow, or when, like, it freezes. That's exact. So that is, you know... Do you have a favorite brand? You know, you say you're a fashion girl. Like if I said you can only wear one brand for the rest of your life, like what would you? Whoop ash. Well, obviously whoop ash. <laughs> whoop ash. Of course, it's a superhero of, of, of body butters, of moisturizers. So you're talking about another type of designer? Well, like a clothing designer. Like someone once asked me, you know, they said, oh, you're, you're into fashion. Like if you had to just choose, you could only wear one, you know, Dior or Balenciaga, whatever it is. And that's it. Nothing else. I was like, God, that's a hard question. It's funny because, you know, it changes seasonally, you know, depending on the collections or whatever. But I'll tell you, I McQueen, I'm obsessed with McQueen. I mean, I've always been obsessed, you know, God rest his soul. What, what, what a genius of, uh, I mean, just a true craftsmanship, a true uh, craftsman, um, artist, I mean, visionary. I just think he was just incredible. Yeah, so. I, 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 I would agree. Yeah. Well, before we get to Real Housewives of okay. Beverly Hills, <laughs> You know, listen, this isn't your first time at the rodeo. You were on another little show that we know as Hollywood X's. Yes. Did that experience prepare you for what to expect on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Somewhat. Somewhat it did. It, 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 um, it made it not as intimidating to go into. Um, so that was great. And then you kind of, you, you know, you understand the flow, you understand the, the demand. The, 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 the pleasant surprise for me with the housewives is they, um, when we were talking, it was actually to be a full cast member. It was to have a diamond. And then they offered me a position um, as a friend, which was a blessing, a, a true blessing for me because it gave me the opportunity to get into it, but, 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 but not completely just dive in the deep end. Cause this is, a, this is a completely different ball game. This Hollywood exes loved it, had a ball with the ladies. Hollywood exes ain't got nothing on the housewives of Beverly Hills. Not a thing. <laughs> I, I that doesn't shock me. I mean, that's that's what I thought. I mean, you know, Hollywood X's has a lot of drama and there's a lot going on. But this is this isn't this is this is the big league, right? This is this is on a whole other level. It's on a whole other level. So I'm grateful that I was able to come in as a friend and kind of get my feet wet and get the rhythm and get a little bit of understanding because it wasn't invasive. It wasn't intrusive. I don't ha I don't even have a storyline. I'm just, you, where, where's the party at? You tell me where the, okay. I get, you make up my little 